Hey there, everybody. It's time to get going with another G League game. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Lakeland Magic going up against Team Ignite. Joined by Brian Benefiteni and Tim Swartz, this is Blake Suniga. And folks, we should have an exciting game for you today. Yeah, the stage is set for excellent G League action. Always fun to watch these talented guys go out there and work hard to prove they're NBA ready. Absolutely, Brian, and that gets harder to do as the G League continues to become more and more competitive. These teams are all stuffed with dynamic players, and they're all looking to make a splash. A ran his man right into the screen to open up the lane to the hoop. MP outside. Right side, Palmer. Back to MP. Pass to Mercer. Shot clock at six. Here's Palmer. Not a lot of room, and it's good for two. And the Lakeland Magic, the 2021 G League champions, they were able to win it all with a terrific playoff run. Came in as the sixth seed that season, but they got hot at the right time. Great performance to lock in the franchise's first title. Now here's MP. AI outside. MP. To the inside. Stolen by Parrish. Outside Aldrich. Left side Rice. It doesn't go for him. And Team Ignite going the other way now. Pass to Mercer. MP outside. And in the first, little over a minute and a half in. Mercer, no good. Just stay close to him. That was all the defender had to do this. Onan, covered by AI. Here's Rice. Outside Aldrich. From deep three-point range, they get a hand on it. Out of bounds, it'll be Team Ignite ball. And here's Team Ignite. Part of what makes the G League so exciting to follow is that it's really an ever-changing league. Yeah, from the teams to the players to the rules, it's always evolving. So each season really is anyone's game. Now here's AI. Shoots over Onan, and AI gets it to go. Well, here's AI showing he can be a dynamic scorer. A lot of potential in his shooting ability. And the foul called on Diaz. That's his first foul. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first quarter. And the three ball is good. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. Now here's MP. Pass to Collins. That's good, and it's MP with the dime. This is what you have to realize about MP. He can get points anytime he wants, but he's also unselfish. Here's Rice, and lots of contact there. Missing the shot, but he'll shoot two. It's going to be on Palmer. And MP, an immediate starter. Team Ignite felt that his talent was good enough to start right off the bat. And with a younger team like this, talent wins out. Not a surprise to see MP starting. He'll just need to perform so his spot is justified. And here we are kicking off the G League season. A lot of games to be played. Well, the traditional G League schedule, 50 games. Not as many as the NBA, but it's still a grind. For many of these players, it'll be more games than they've ever played before. And the big names for Team Ignite are part of the one-year program. They get compensated well as they prepare for the NBA draft. The team serves as a professional training center for elite talent. Just another fantastic path to the NBA. 
And you look at this Team Ignite roster, it is special. A ton of talent jumping off the roster sheet. They'll need to fuse it all together over the course of the season, but this is one of the most talented Team Ignite rosters we've seen. A lot can happen over the course of the year. Now here's Lawson. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And with Lawson, he has a good understanding of the game. Knows when to, to give it up and get it to a wide open man. Here's Gilmore. Rice. And it's Collins with the rebound. Team Ignite leading. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have, staying aggressive and playing in control. Fades back. Misses off the left iron. He should save the fadeaway for when there's a defender on him. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. They set the pick. Gilmore defended by Thomas. A nice shot by Gilmore. Outstanding entry pass. He knew exactly where to go with that ball. And the speed of the professional game, something incoming players always talk about. It's not as fast as the NBA, but it's a world apart from college. It'll take some getting used to for many first-year G-leaguers. Picked by Collins. Here's MP. He got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Team Ignite on top. They're up by two. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. All right, through the first quarter, what are your thoughts on MP so far? Frankly, he didn't get much to do in the first quarter. And that's not for lack of trying, but he might still be carving out his place on this G League roster. You can certainly tell there's some potential there, especially considering the effort he's giving. But he doesn't have much to show for that work ethic yet. Now here's Palmer. Mercer with the screen. Clock at six. Palmer with it. And Akwebu pulls it down. Outside Aldrich. Parrish. Pass to Akwebu. Parrish sets the screen. To the paint. Good. And it's Akwebu who picks up the assist. And it's a tie ball game. Oh, Maestro. He is so good at making those lead passes. Looking at the Lakeland Magic, only an hour or so from Orlando. And that proximity to the affiliate is huge for players in the G League. Obviously, they, they all want to play in the NBA. So with it being so close, you're going to have the front office, the coaches observing practice, getting to know those G League players as well as the NBA players. And for many of these players, this is the first time they're getting a taste of professional ball. And when ball is your job, as you said, Brian, you get good in a hurry. There will be a lot to learn from any first-time G-leaguers. It's a, a bit of a, a trial by fire. And guys, this is so exciting. The start of the G-League season, always fun to see new faces and talent coming into the G. And while that's true for all teams in the G-League, it's especially true for a group like Team Ignite. We could be seeing the start of not only a future NBA player, but a future franchise cornerstone tonight. And you look at how the G League is attracting top high school talent now. What do you think that'll do to the college game? It could be good in that we'll probably see fewer one and duns. Universities can now focus on players who might be there for a while, and that could help continuity which is a big plus. And you look at Team Ignite, it's a great way to get experience and prepare for the NBA draft. You can't overlook how paramount a professional type of environment, professional development is. You know, on this team, the prospects can eat and sleep basketball 24-7. It's the only thing on the menu. You can't get that anywhere else. Now here's AI. Over to the left wing. MP outside. Back to Palmer. Pass to Mercer. Kicks it out to MP. Here's Palmer. Puts up a three. Rebounded by Parrish. Yeah, the G League hit hard by the pandemic, along with really every other league in the world, every sport. They had to cancel the end of the 2020 season. They played a shortened season in 2021 in a bubble in Orlando. And that one's good. Onan. It's so hard to contain him. He gets it done however he has to do it. 
and they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. They got to score. To stop the run. And Mercer with the jam. Nice instincts on the offensive glass. Mercer using his size to his advantage right there. Pass to Aldrich. Owning a screen. Here's Dudley. Now here's Onan. He's guarded by Palmer. Here's Aldrich. That's a bucket, his third of the game. He shot the ball seven times. And with the G League, they ended up with a bubble season, and that made for some intense basketball. And I feel like that was the right choice for the G League. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. Magic out in front, up by eight. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. And now that we're halfway through this one, give me a breakdown of what you're seeing from MP. You know, he needs to fight a little harder for his spot on this roster. All of these G League guys are playing hard, so he needs to put in the extra work if he wants to truly distinguish himself on the floor. 100% agree. I mean, no one is going to hand you opportunities in this league. You got to earn them. Maybe here in the second half, he'll play with a little more urgency. Mercer with the screen. Pass to AI. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two here. It's on Onan. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. First free throw is good. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Lakeland in the lead. Pass to Onan. Now here's Aldridge. and lays it in nice and easy. A good job on the glass. They're working inside. They're battling, and that's helped them craft this lead. It set a tone for the team. Outside, Palmer. MP. Down low. Here's Mercer, and it's blocked by Parrish. Akwebu left side, outside Rice. It's hauled in by Palmer. Pass to MP. And it's blocked by Parrish. And it's going to be out of bounds. Team Ignite will retain possession. One and a half minutes here into the second half. AI is screen. Here's MP. He's gone cold, and I'm not sure he's their best option offensively as they look to cut this deficit. Aldrich. He's guarded by Palmer. Back to Aldrich. He's now made half of his 10 shots in the game. That's his fifth basket. Of their last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is smash mouth basketball, guys. Yeah, they're really imposing their will offensively and getting exactly the kind of looks they want. MP up top, Akwebu covering. Shot clock at five. Mercer with the screen. Here's Palmer. Unable to get that one to go. So many games are decided by which team wins the rebound battle, and that's how true in this one, Tim. Yeah, Brian, their effort on the glass, it has given them the advantage. It's made a difference without question. And out of bounds, Team Ignite's going to take it. So both teams changing it up here. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Screen by Lawson. Here's MP. Team Ignite again missing. 
something's got to change for them here. Starting the half 0 for 5 is just not going to cut it in this league. Inside, here's Aldridge, and Aldridge throws it down. That's his M.O. Sometimes he can score more points by himself than the rest of the team combined. Lawson outside. MP. AI. Onan defending. Six on the shot clock. Pass to MP. Trying to get back on track. And he's good on the three ball. And how exciting. This is the first action for MP. Never easy to jump into the G League straight from high school. And nobody can deny the talent that MP has. But it can be rough for him early on in the G League. Still, this is a great way for him to get his game NBA ready. A signature slam from the big fella. We've seen a few of those before. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Bishop, back to Bautista. Picked by Collins. Goes up on the baseline. Rebound Lakeland. You got to give them credit for the job they've done on the boards. Well, guys, they've done a lot of things well, but their rebounding is right at the top of the list. Guarded by Lawson. Five to shoot. Pass to Dudley. Here's Hawes. Tries the spin move. MP outside. Screen by Lawson. Pass to Bishop. Kicks it out to MP. Screen by Lawson. Here's MP. And he's knocked off course by the D. The foul called, and he'll shoot free throws. This is his first opportunity at the line this evening. And he knocks down the first one. And good on both. And here's Aldridge. Six to shoot. Pulls up on the wing. Misses off the right iron. The third quarter comes to a close. Magic out in front, up nine. And we're coming back right after this break to get the fourth quarter started. As we approach the final quarter, what do you think the focus should be for MP now? Well, it's been an off night for him. You could argue this is what the G League is for, taking your lumps and playing through your mistakes. Yeah, but come on, a guy like this. with his sights set on making it big. They can't afford to have too many nights like this. We'll see what he does here in the fourth. To the middle. Rejected by Thomas. AI right side. Good work defensively by Onan. Good job by them on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. You have to rebound to win, and that's exactly what we're seeing tonight. Parrish with it, and it's Mercer picking him up. Onan a screen. For three. Gets it to go from downtown. That shot becomes effortless. For him when the D is so relaxed. Mercer with the screen. Here's MP. 
And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Heading downhill, MP causes all kinds of issues defensively. Tough to stop the ball without fouling. Team Ignite making a switch here. He makes one for two that time. I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second half, despite the deficit. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive, Tim, right? I mean, yeah. another good job of drawing contact and getting to the line. you got to force the issue when you're down, as you were saying. On the wing, Diaz. Pass to Mercer. Stolen by Parrish. And they're on the break. Here's Rice. And stolen by A.I. And here's Mercer. And it's blocked by Parrish. Outside Rice. Pass to Onan. Shoots over Diaz. Yeah, he can't hit that time. And it's Team Ignite the other way. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. On the wing, Diaz. Back to MP. On the wing, Diaz. Six on the shot clock. MP on the wing. The shot is good. Diaz making the play. Shooting with no hesitation. You just have to admire MP's confidence in firing off the catch. In the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Pass to Onan. Over AI. And that one's good, Onan. Their interior defense has been dismal. They're losing the battle in the paint. Here's MP. Akwebu at the block. Now Rice. And here is Onan. Covered by AI. The three from Rice. Team Ignite with the rebound. They had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. And when he's open like that, you don't see him miss that sort of look very often. High post try. And another bucket for Team Ignite. This is why you involve MP in screen and rolls. He just figures out ways to score in these sets. And he lobs it up. And Onan with the stuff. What fantastic communication between teammates on the alley-oop. And that's what you need to pull that off. It was almost telepathic. Telepathic, I, I think that's a good way to describe it. Both ends of that play were fantastic. Count that bucket. And that is how you execute pick and rolls. Mercer slashing with precision there. Parrish, and it's Parrish finishing it off. Heads up play there, guys, on the assist and the finish. Now here's MP. Akwebu covering. Come get it, come get it. Pass to Palmer. Diaz. MP outside. Over to the wing. Just four to shoot. Over Aldrich. Lands soft on the front of the rim and drops. I like the effort Diaz makes to be an effective offensive weapon. I mean, he's always hunting his next shot. Here's Rice. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Aldrich. This is a serious game-clinching run they're on. They are just not backing off, and they're going to close this one out in style. What a surge. Give them credit it's just to, to finish this one off. MP, it's good. Uh, this had come earlier. They might have been able to get back into it. 100%. They needed this a lot sooner than they got it. Yeah, where was this earlier? Pass to Parrish. Aldrich. Parrish sets the screen. Akwebu with it. 
Parrish sets the screen. Akwebu's shot is off. Well, this game's finally gotten away from them. It has. There's not really anything they can do. To the paint. Takes it out to Diaz. And the three off target. Now Rice. Outside Aldrich. And so it's Lakeland easily grabbing the W in this one. MP wasn't the reason they lost this game by any means. But he didn't do too much to make himself stand out. Yeah, and you'd like to see him step up when they're facing adversity. He wasn't able to do that tonight. He needs to show more toughness going forward. And that's going to do it for us tonight. Blake Suniga here, along with Brian Banifatemi and Tim Swartz, thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you all next time.